New Year's is a time of year where many people set a goal for themselves for the year. Sometimes this is called a New Year's resolution. Sometimes it is just known as a goal. But people all over the world in different cultures do something very similar. Japan is no different. My goal for the year is resilience. Wow, that's a big word. Resilience. So what does it mean? It is the ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune and change. So the saying that I will keep in my mind is, be like bamboo, bend, but do not break. 2020 was really hard for a lot of people, and sometimes it is difficult to make change. So my goal this year is to remember that even though things are hard and change is difficult, I can still do hard things. I can still be the best version of myself. So think about that. What is your word that you are going to focus on? Maybe your word will be strong, or your word will be friend, or maybe you will choose something like focus. Think about your word as we move into this lesson about how Japan comes up with a goal for their year. Today, our lesson takes us to the center part of Japan to a small town called Takasaki. There are many reasons to visit Takasaki. It is a city with beautiful architecture. There are temples and shrines, the beautiful Phlox Park, this awesome bridge, some amazing statues. But what is it that most people visit Takasaki for? Well, that would be this little guy here called Daruma. So these might be some questions that you have. I know when I first saw the Daruma doll, I certainly wondered, what is this used for and what's up with the eyes? Well, the Daruma dolls are round dolls with large blank white eyes and the purpose is to serve as a constant reminder of what the Japanese call the Gabber spirit. The message behind the dolls is that life is full of ups and downs good and bad, but it's within your own power to recover from the lows and keep moving, which is why they are designed to bounce back when they are knocked over automatically. When you receive a Daruma doll, it is customary to make a wish and fill in one of its eyes, symbolically giving the doll a soul. The process of using a Daruma doll is made up of three factors, your goal, your action, and your outcome. To get good luck from a Daruma doll, you need to visualize your goal. Paint in one eye on the doll, traditionally the right eye, and then once the goal has been reached, you get to paint on the other eye. You might notice that this Daruma doll looks a little bit different. So, the first step once I have my Daruma doll is to set a goal. So, think back. My goal for the year was resilience. That means when something goes wrong, I try my hardest not to let it get me down and I keep trying. So once I set my goal, I will paint in one eye. Traditionally, it will be the right eye. The next step is very important. If this step is not paid attention to, it is very difficult to make Daruma work correctly. You must put Daruma somewhere where you will look at him each and every day and will be reminded of your goal. Each time that you look at his one eye blinking at you, it will remind you to focus on that goal that you have set for yourself. If you put him away somewhere where you cannot see him, sometimes you will forget about your goal. Have you ever heard the saying, out of sight? out of mind? We don't want to forget our goal, so we put it somewhere where we can easily find him. Daruma will stay right on top of my bulletin board in the Global Studies classroom, so that when I am teaching, I can look up and see Daruma. And he will always remind me that even when things get hard, I need to be strong and get back up and keep going. 
This is the part that I love the best. So what happens when you reach your goal? Well, when you reach your goal, you get to color in the other eye of Daruma so that he has two complete eyes looking back at you. Now, for some of us, our goal may be very easy and we may reach it really quickly. Perhaps you set a goal to get a 100 on your spelling test this week. Well, you may reach that goal this week, but for others, our goal may last a really long time. Maybe your goal is like mine, where you want to be resilient this year. Well, that is not something that will happen in one week, but it will take a while to become more resilient. Perhaps yours is an even longer goal. Maybe you want to get all A's for the entire school year, or maybe you want to go to college to become a scientist or a doctor. So your goal may take a little longer to reach, but that's okay. Dalrymo will be there to help you remind yourself that you need to stay focused. Just always remember to keep him in place. Dalrymo comes in many colors, but the traditional doll is just for good luck is red. If you see a green Daruma, it is for beauty. Black is for secrets. Gold is for wealth. Pink, love. Yellow is protection. White is harmony. And purple is health. So if you were worried about your family being protected, you might have a yellow Daruma. Or if someone in your family was sick and you wanted to have a Daruma doll to help, you might have a purple Daruma. So the colors stand for certain things. Here are a fun few facts about the Daruma doll's design. When you look at his face, you can tell that it is a little bit different. But if you zoom in and look very carefully, his eyebrows represent cranes and the mustache represents a turtle shell. These are both signs of longevity. Longevity means a long duration of an individual life. The Daruma is made of washi. This is a traditional handmade paper made only in the winter time because cold water is essential to making a more natural paper with little to no chemicals. This is the time of year that Daruma dolls are the most popular in Takasaki. In Takasaki, each portion of the Daruma doll is still painted by hand, making these an amazing souvenir that many people purchase when visiting the city. As you can tell, each Daruma doll takes a great deal of focus and work to make sure that it looks the same as all the others. The finished Daruma dolls are then dried to prepare for selling in the stores and local markets. Here you can see some of the other colors as well as different sizes of Daruma dolls. Some are small, some are large. Maybe the smaller for small goals and the big are for your big goals. Perhaps my favorite thing about Daruma is his saying. The saying that goes with Daruma is Nanakarobi Yaoki, which means fall down seven times, get up eight times. This is a great thing to remember when you are working towards a goal. You might fall down, you might have mistakes, you may not reach your goal right away, but that should not stop you. Daruma reminds you that you should always get right back up and keep trying until you reach your goal. Nanakarobi Yaoki, fall down seven times, get up eight times. This week's lesson about Daruma gives you a chance to create your own Daruma doll. The Daruma dolls don't have to be purchased, but the idea can still be the same. There is a link on the Global Studies website this week that lets you download this page. 
It is not in your global studies book if you are working from home. You do not need to print this out. You can also choose to draw your own Daruma. The shape is simple. He is a circle with a small base. Then create spaces for his eyes. If you cannot draw the turtle shells and cranes, that is okay. The point is you need to have a place to color in his eyes. I would love to see some of the creations that you come up with. What will your goal be? If you would like to share your goal, I will open up a Flipgrid and you are welcome to share your Daruma goal for the year. This will help me stay focused on what my goal is, so I will share mine with you as well. Good luck, and I cannot wait to hear all of the awesome things that you guys will be working on for the 2021 year.